Obviously, one of the cutest aspects of the Calgary Stampede happens to be the dog bowl here in the corral. And Ethan's joining us. And who's our who's our little friend here? This is little Nicholas. He was adopted on the streets of Indianapolis when he was just a little puppy. He's like one of the few dogs that was actually cuter as an adult than a puppy. He looked like a gremlin or something when he was a baby. Uh, talk a little bit about your involvement first and foremost. How long have you been involved with dog bowl? So this is our fourth year here at the Dog Bowl. Um, we've been, Carrie and I, who own the, the Canine Stars, we've been doing dog shows for like 10 years. Uh, we have world champion dogs. We've com been competing in this, and we decided to make a way to have, we decided to, getting tongue-tied, I'm excited talking about dogs. We, we decided to figure out a way to make it fun and kind of educate the public about the important, importance of a healthy lifestyle with your dog and uh, also the importance of pet adoption. What would you say is the number one key to having an obedient dog? I'm not just talking about those who, you know, can perform tricks like we've got here, but I'm, I'm talking just the normal everyday person who's walking by and, and the one lesson you'd like to teach those who are coming by and seeing the show. Um, well, all dogs are different. They all have their own personality. So the more time you can spend with your dog, the more you learn about their personality and you can make a better connection with them. You can learn how they learn and what they like. And that's how you can create a, a great connection with your dog and your dog will it automatically be a little bit more obedient because they have a better relationship with you. You also got, like you said, a little excited about talking about the fact that, I mean, this is something that you clearly love. It's something that you clearly care about. What's it mean to you to be able to be involved in something that, uh, frankly, it brings a lot of joy to a lot of people, but also brings a lot of joy to yourself as well? It's, it's definitely an amazing experience when this arena is full and you just, your dog does something that you already think is amazing. But when you hear the crowd roaring, it's just kind of a confirmation that your dog is pretty amazing and, and it's a really special individual and it, it almost makes you cry every time you hear the, the crowd cheering for your dog like that. It's, it's really a one of a kind experience here at the Stampede. Walk us through the difficulties or maybe it's not that difficult at all of being able to get the, the dogs to be able to handle large crowds. Um, it depends, like I said before, each dog has their own personality. Some dogs like Ruby here, uh, I think this might be his first time in front of this many people, but he just, he loves playing with his mom so much and he's just such a, he's such a great, smart dog. It's no problem for him. Some of the other dogs, like we have a drum line here too, so that was a whole nother challenge, getting him used to the, to the drums, banging and stuff. Um, most of the dogs, they love the sound of the crowd, so they, they know the crowd is cheering for them and a lot of them will even act up or something and they'll kind of strut a little bit more when they hear the crowd cheering for them. It's, it depends on the dog. Some of the dogs are a little bit more shy, so we use uh, positive reinforcement to train the dogs. So basically that means when they do the behavior that we like, we give them a reward for it instead of punishing bad behavior and it makes them, it, it builds their confidence more so that they're more likely to do what they, they want to do. So we're using treats, we just see a lot of frisbees out here during the show the dog's favorites are frisbees for sure <laughs> well it's a fantastic show to say the very least ethan thanks so much for joining us thank you